Hey everybody, it's Mr. Marshall here at Stony Lane. Um, I have a math game for you. Um, this is a math game that you can play with a friend if you are learning multiplication facts. Okay, multiplication facts are going to be important in this game. So if you've never heard of multiplication, stop watching this video and turn it on in like a year and then maybe you can watch it. Just kidding. So this is a way that you can help learn some of your multiplication facts. This game is called Array Monsters. Array Monsters. And so um, this is a game where you're going to build monsters with multiplication. So for this game, you need a couple of things. You need to get some paper that looks like this. This is graph paper. That's that paper with all the little squares on it. Okay. You need a pencil or maybe a marker. You need one crayon for you and one for your friend. Okay. And um, and you need a pair of dice or you need one die. Um, I don't have a die here, but I have an app on my phone that, um, that lets me roll a die. Okay. So here's how we're going to play. I'm going to play and then my pretend friend, my partner, the one with the glasses, he's going to be my opponent. Okay, Mr. Marshall, Mr. Marshall's friend. Mr. Marshall, Mr. Marshall's friend. Are you ready? So here's how this goes. Um, I'm going to have my graph paper and I'm going to roll my die. Here we go. You can decide who goes first. Let's roll. I got a three. So what I'm going to do is with my pencil, I'm going to draw a line that goes across three squares, OK, like that. And then Mr. Marshall's friend is going to go next. So here we go. So I'm Mr. Marshall's friend, and I'm going to roll a die. Here we go. Three also. So now on the other paper, Mr. Marshall's friend is going to go and draw three lines going this way. You can go up and down, or you can go left to right, whatever you want. Now it's back to Mr. Marshall's turn. OK, let's roll the die. One. OK, so I, I had that. And I'm going to go down one. And do you see what I'm doing? And I'm going to close this box. And I'm going to write on there 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. And if I want for fun, I can turn this into a monster by putting some scary eyes and maybe a mouth with big teeth on it. OK. And I'm going to color it with my color. OK. And I'm going to say the fact out loud while I do that. Three times one is three. OK? You can also play this so you and your friend are sharing the same paper. I did it where we each have our own paper. It doesn't really matter. OK? Um, so now Mr. Marshall's friend goes, where are the glasses? Here we go. All right, now I'm going to roll the die. And I have four. OK, so now Mr. Marshall's friend is going to go across four. One, two, three, four. And let's close the box up. Three times four equals, how many little squares in there? Twelve, because it's three groups of four, right? And I wrote three times four equals twelve. And I'm going to use the other color crayon to color in this whole array, twelve little boxes. OK, and I'm going to say 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. OK, so it's really important to color when you're sharing the same game board. Um, but it's not really that important if you have your own. But it's just it makes it more fun, OK, because it makes you repeat. So I'm going to put some monster eyes on this. OK, 3 times 4 is 12. OK. And then now it's Mr. Marshall's turn again. So here we go. Let's roll the dice. And I've got a three again. So on my game board, I'm going to draw a line across three boxes. Okay. 
my friend will go, and then I'll go again. Let's say on the next one I get six. I'm just making this up now, so I go down six. I close the box, and I write three times six equals 18, because that's how much it is, right? And then I'm going to color it in and say 3 times 6 is 18, 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 3 times 6 is 18. Okay, I'm going to draw a monster face on it. All my monsters kind of look the same, don't they? Okay, so now what happens is when I've run out of space, I add up all my products. That's the answers in all my multiplication facts. So I had 3 plus 18, and I add up any others that I have here, okay? And so um, then we see who has the bigger total, and the person that has the bigger total is the winner of the Array Monster game, okay? Um, so this is a great game that you can use to practice your multiplication facts. You can also have dice, dice that have more sides. Okay, so you can use dice that have bigger numbers on them too. So you can practice those numbers too. Okay, um, this looks like it's a game of, of um, oh, there's one more thing I have to tell you. Is that if I get a five and I draw five here, and for my next one I get a two, but I don't have room. Let's pretend I don't have room over here to make that. I can do two somewhere else where I have room and start a new box. I can close them up in any any time that I want, any way that I want. Okay, so so if I got a five here and then I got a two down here, right, and then I get a three, I can say, well, I can make five times three or I can make two times three. I can go to either one. So that's a strategy. I can I can use my numbers wherever I want to close any box that I want, okay? If I run out of room, the game's over, okay? So like if I decided that I wanted to do something over here, but it makes me not have any room, then I lose that, okay? Like I can't keep going, okay? So that's another way that you can play this game, okay? So try out Array Monster. It'll help you with your multiplication facts, um, and it'll probably be really fun. So... Um, you can play this with as many people as you want. And um, so try it out. Have a great time. And I'll see you next time.